What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you an updated tweak called Infiniboard. Now what this tweak allows you to do is enable vertical scrolling as well as some other features that I'm going to show you here in just a second. But to see the vertical scrolling, all you have to do is put more applications on one page than normal and you can see that you have that vertical scrolling action right there and you can see that it's hidden behind the dock. So some of the features that you can mess with here, if we go in here, you have vertical scrolling, you have scrolling bounce, you have scroll bar style, top on paging, top on app exit, vertical paging, and hide behind dock. So first is the vertical scrolling, which is obviously what I just showed you, which is just scrolling up and down. Now, right here, the scrolling bounce, you can see that it's enabled. Now if we disable it, and we go back to the home screen, you'll see when I swipe up, then it just locks into place like that rather than bouncing like normal. So it just really just depends on what you like. Obviously you can also have this enabled with extra icons. So if you have extra icons on this springboard, then it's going to uh, do the spring bounce or the scrolling bounce. Now here's a scroll bar style. This is disabled right now, but if we turn it on black, it's actually kind of hard to see on black with this background, but white you can actually see it a little bit better. So you can see if we go back, you can see there's actually a scroll bar right there on the right hand side and it's kind of hard to see but it is there very thin but you can see it right there on the right hand side you can also change that to black like I was saying you scroll up and down it's really hard to see you probably can't even see that on the camera but let's go back into settings here and you have top on paging so that means when you swipe to the next page it actually goes back to the top of the page so that's enabled right now so let's go back and you can see if I scroll down and then I swipe over then you can see when I swipe back it's at the top of the page but you can turn that off that way when I scroll down and then swipe over and I swipe back it's still in the exact same spot now keep in mind that this is completely compatible with barrel as you can see right there you can see as I swiped over it took all of those icons even the extra icons and it bundled it up for the page animation. So let's jump back here into settings and you can turn on top to app exit and that just means when you get out of an application that it goes back to the top of the page. So let's scroll down here and let's open up Netflix and we'll get out and then it's at the top of the page. Down here is vertical paging so you can turn that on as well. Uh, what that does is allow you to switch between pages just like that rather than it being one smooth scrolling page it's actually multiple pages so it just switches in between them right there also you can make it hide behind the dock which is what we have going on right now so you can see it's hiding behind the dock but if we turn that off you can see that it doesn't look that great but something you can do is actually get rid of the icons in the dock and it actually looks pretty cool so let's go ahead and do that so let's just put it up here. We'll add to we'll add some link to our page here. So now you can see it actually looks kind of cool. So you can swipe through here just like that with no dock right here. You still actually can see those uh page icons back there or page dots right there. Actually kind of hard to see because it's behind all the icons but they are still there I think it's a nice tweak and it really just depends on your preference what you want your springboard to look like and I think it looks good without the dock but let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe alright guys until next time this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com